So how does that work? We vibrate the bottom of the tank at an ultrasonic frequency using transducers. These transducers convert an electrical ultrasonic signal into mechanical vibrations, again, at that ultrasonic frequency that we're operating at. So when we turn on the tank, we're actually going to vibrate the bottom of it 30,000 cycles a second in this particular system. What you're hearing there is the resonant transducers uh, and the mechanical vibration that's going on. So again, you can't see that, but we can show the pressure waves that are actually coming off the tank bottom, um, which are required to create the cavitation process. It's not the pressure waves that clean the part, uh, it's actually the, the, the cavitation process again, but you need the pressure waves, the alternating pressure waves back and forth to actually create the cavitation. So when I turn this ultrasonic tank on, what's going to happen is the bottom of the tank is going to vibrate 30,000 cycles a second. You can't see those pressure waves, but if I take this glass jar filled with glass beads and I place it in the ultrasonic tank, you can see the glass beads just bouncing. The reason that occurs is because the pressure wave is being sent through the solution, banging on the glass, uh, bottom of the glass jar and causing those beads to, vib to bounce. Okay, so we showed how the pressure waves transmit through the solution, but again, it's not the pressure waves that, that actually do the cleaning. It's the cavitation process that's created by the alternating pressure waves in the solution. If I, I can show the cavitation, if I coat this ceramic ring with simple pencil lead, graphite, 